For years, Japanese cars were a bit of a joke, cheap and not very cheerful. They were the lowest rung of the motoring ladder. What they didn't have was a car to set the pulse racing until the 1984 launch of the Toyota MR2. Toyota's first attempt at a mass market sports car hit the bullseye. If you thought hot hatches were common and you had a yen for better handling on a realistic budget, then the MR2 was a must have. This was the car aspirational middle management had been waiting for, even if it was a bit of a tight fit for those 80s shoulder pads. At 18 and a half grand in today's money, it wasn't cheap, but it was certainly cheerful. These cars still retain a strong following, and resale prices have stayed high. But early models are now 20 years old, so I'm hoping I can pick up a bargain, and I've already got a good idea where to start looking. And my mate Andy tells me he's got an MR2 on his lot, and he's keen to get shot of it. Michael. Andy. How are you, fella? Good I'm to see you again. This is the one, is it? It is, mate. It's a bit of a shed, mate. What's going on here? That's not the right wheel, is it? No, that is true. It's not. Have nope. you got another one for it? Nope. <laughs> nice. <laughs> in a word. All right, lovely. Thank you. Mate, what's going on here? Look, you didn't tell me you had a big hole in the blooming wing. It's only a little hole. It's for ventilation. Ventilation. That'll be all right. Don't worry. It's a bolt-on bit. Pattern parts, dead easy. What, so that bolt on and bolt off yeah, then Yeah, honestly. How yeah. much is a wing going to cost me for one of these, then? 50 quid. About 50 quid? Yeah. Yeah, they're not expensive. All right, we can work on that, then. Bit of rust around the wheel arch, and those wheels need refurbishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you don't care, do you? What's the exhaust like? Oh, mate, it's as rotten as a pair. It needs a tailpipe, Michael. Tail needs a tailpipe, mate. What, a couple of yeah, those little, little chrome sleeves? Ones. Yeah, no, no, that, that, that's what it needs. That'll work, yeah. won't it? Boot lock's missing. Bit of ventilation. But is there anything good to say about this car? It's an MR2 in red. True, it's a rare old beast. It is. Right, moving on to the interior. <laughs> oh, blimey, it's a bit of a mess in here, fella, isn't it? Come on, mate, just needs a bit of a clean-up. A clean-up? Yeah. It needs a jackhammer and a shovel to clean this car out. Yeah, the old line. <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose underneath all this dirt is the proper little thing. All the dials are there, all the switches. Got a yeah. CD player ready to set. Immobiliser. Immobiliser as well. Yeah. All the glasses in good order. Big crack in the screen, though, mate. Just you gets worse. So I want to drive it round the block. Do you mind? No, not at all. Sure? Yep. Right, keys? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. You're having a turkey, surely. A screwdriver? Ignition key broke. If uh, Ignition key broke? Yeah. If the police see me with this in my hand, I'm going to get nicked. They think I'm oh, stolen right. this car. You've got the original key, look. Yeah, true. Yeah. All right, fella. Lead me to it. I'll see you in a bit. Good luck. I'll put the kettle on. Cheers. He's having a laugh, and he. <laughs> The gauge is coming up, the oil pressure is very good. So overall, I think the actual engine itself is cracking. Although it's a bit of a mess, this car on the exterior, mechanically, it's fine. There's a horrible grumbling noise coming from the back, and that would put a lot of people off, and they'd feel a little bit nervous about it. But I happen to know that these cars did have a little inherent fault, which was the bearings in the alternator and they tend to rattle them and wear quite badly. And it's a really cheap, easy fix. And this car has got that, and I know that it can fix it quite simply. Now, he's got this car up for 700 quid, trade price. I reckon it's not worth that. I reckon it's worth about 500 quid. And if I could get it for that much money, do you know what? I think we could even earn a profit out of this car because they're desirable, they're still sought after, and it is the popular model. It's the T-bar option. You know, owning a car like this really does mean you can be Champagne Charlie for lemonade money. Right, time to do the deal. Now, I'm going to go in with me size 10s on and see if he'll take a monkey. That's 500 quid cash. I don't know where to start, Andy. What? There's a nasty rattle coming from the engine. But I'm sure underneath there somewhere is a nice little car. You know there is. Ah, oh, mate, it all comes down to money. You want it 700 quid for it? It me 700 quid. It's got can tax. You, it's got tax, but can you knock the figures back a little bit? 500 quid, a monkey. Take now, it cash, I've got the money with me. Come on. Yes? Lovely. Oh, yes, what a result. I didn't think Andy would go for 500 quid. Perhaps he knows.